everyone, welcome to Doing Life with me, your host, Precious Morta. I am so excited to be addressing you today about my new topic, being single-minded. You know, when God told me to start this ministry online, you know, I was very excited and scared at the same time. To see myself talking, it's kind of frightening, you know. You start judging yourself, but I had to realize that there's something valuable that God has placed in my spirit and He wants the world to hear it. And so for me to be consistent in continuing to do this, I have to be single-minded. The Webster Dictionary describes being single-minded is having one driving purpose. Is you being determined and steadfast that you're going to do this one thing that God has called you to do. And we see this in the ministry of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 4 verse 34, Jesus tells his disciples that his food, his nourishment is doing the will of the one who sent him and to complete it. And this what tells me is that being single-minded is being devoted to God. Is you being devoted in this one thing that He has commanded you to, to do. Because, you see, when you do this one thing, it becomes nourishment to your spirit, to your soul, to your very existence. Because when you don't do it, my God, it affects who you are. Because you're not releasing what God has deposited inside of you. And so it is so important for us to be single-minded, to fulfill God's purpose here on earth. And the one thing that can prevent us from being single-minded is being double-minded. And James 1, 8 describes a person who is double-minded, is a person who is unstable in all his ways. And this person is restless and, and, and has conflict, my God, in his, in his action and his thoughts. He's unable to do the one thing that God has called him because he has thoughts that are pulling him in different directions. And you're unable to leave all your confidence in the God who has called you, in the God who his promises are yes and amen because he will fulfill what he has called you to do through your life. But he's not a God who forces himself to you. He's a gracious God. He's a God who has given us a will to do, to choose blessing or curse or cursing. So you have to, you have to, you have to choose. Are you going to choose to have a blessed life or a life that's full of anxiety and worry? And so you have to be single-minded in order for you to fulfill what God has called you to do. And 2 Corinthians chapter 10, um, verse 5 to 6, direct us to take every thought captive that tries to, to pull us in the wrong direction, that, the thought that have no faith. Because faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Because when we feed ourselves with the word of God, we become stronger. We are able to face the trials and tribulations that come before us. Because we understand that the one who sent me is sovereign, is able to do everything through Jesus Christ. And so I want to encourage us to be single-minded and to complete the work that God has started in our lives by being single-minded. So thank you, and I love you. Until next time.